Hello. Well, I taped everyone else and what they're doing today, so here's what I'm doing first. Actually, let's start that over. <laughs> no, I got this. Hey y'all, I'm Holland Roden and this is my van, Holland Days. The quarantine in 2020 had me questioning how I can live my life with more intention. So I took the plunge on a dream I've had for years. You did it, guys. Back to my bags in the entertainment industry in Los Angeles, bought a van and I am self-converting it in Wisconsin with no building experience. But a builder, an engineer, my new friend Steve Mivas is here to definitely help us along the way. Good afternoon. Uh, it's just getting to that point in the build where we just have the regular regular rigmarole of life and trying to fit the build in between that. So today we've got a clean workshop. Thank you very much. It's very nice. And we're gonna be getting this guy uh, glued and cleaned up and I'm gonna get the back cleaned up the garage cleaned up because when Steve gets home from his job today um, he had a job he had to go off site for so it's just me running the property which can be very scary at night uh, but yeah so I'm gonna have it all ready for him to put in sliders probably tomorrow um, anyway that's the plan Stan Infatuation, I crave it day and night So give me, give me a taste, just a little bite Saturation, I'm dripping, dripping honey Sweet to the very last touch Oh, 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 oh Mike came, do you want to see the camera? Sure We weren't rolling When Mike showed up, I was like, who is that? I was like, a buzz man named Mike uh. He's... Hello. Here to keep me company for the gluing process. That's not true. As he ripped up the top half, I was like, it's... It wasn't glued down. No, but it is supposed to be glued down. But it wasn't when I ripped it off. Maybe I shouldn't have ripped yeah, it off. Yeah, because it's a weird glue. I don't trust it. Okay, so Holland got these panels for this side of the cabinetry finished up. So I am gonna put them in and start to have a lot less space to move around in here, which is kind of exciting. I need one more screw, please. So our next step is to actually put this drawer in. Yes, it is. I should sit, look at the camera better. I don't like looking at the lens. So today we have got to finish this van, high five, in two weeks. Okay, fine. Two weeks plus a week of details, so technically three. But yesterday Mike's, Mike's? <laughs> yesterday Mike officially came on board and I have very specific homework for him, from him. It is too early. Today I did not oversleep. But we actually have to start pushing back our hours even earlier to start at like seven or eight versus like nine or 10. And we've got, I've got a specific thing of drawers and doors. Doors and drawers, doors and drawers, doors and drawers in my life now. 
uh, for the next 72 hours. So uh, I'm excited that I actually know what I'm doing. I don't have to ask Steve or ask Mike. Yes, I actually know how to make the door now. It's kind of difficult, just exactly at 45 and exactly even a 16th off um, when you're making a picture frame can make a difference. So it's gonna be tough. I have 14, 12 to 14 drawers to make that uh, 16 total, but really 12 to 14 that I'm able to make this weekend. Let's see if I do it. I don't know. Guess what I don't have to do today? Stain! <laughs> Guess what I don't have to do tomorrow Sunday? Stain! I'm very excited. It's easier. We like and almost don't need glue. With and a bit then, like this, you really probably don't. Guys, can you register that? That is how much I'm off. You can't even barely focus on it. So anyway, I've got to like miter that piece. It's so detailed. <laughs> My best welds ever. It's been a while since I've welded anything. And honestly, I've done a lot more TIG than I have MIG, but you know, it'll work. That looks like it would fit, right? That tiny little black space means it doesn't fit. So I'm debating like, do I just do that anyway? Is that good enough? Is it really touching at the bottom or is it not? Those are the kind of decisions that just kind of hold you up and it just, you don't know what to do. So it's really frustrating. Guys, you want to see something fun? Yep! Look who just wood filled. Now, I made all of the um, miters, as you saw, and the panels. But the holes were too small. And Steve has got the shimmy Mivas touch. So he shimmied probably two thirds of these in here. Um, but I made the panels and I made these. I think everything except for two panels and 99% of these. We got it done, guys. Mmm. Is this coffee extra hot? Or is it the Heat Soap products next to me? We just want to thank today's sponsor, Heat Soap Products. This company is out of the UK. What I love about this company is Steve actually found them sought them out. He brought this heater to me actually on our first phone call before I even got to Wisconsin. And he said he loved this heater for several reasons. One, it's relatively small and it's easy to configure. It has all of your heating needs and the fact that you get cabin heat, on-demand hot water, as well as recirculating shower hot water. With heat so you get this beautiful heat exchanger and this hot air blower and this 24 volt 5.6 kW diesel powered heater. And how about an easy start pro for all your winter nights? And an extra large water bottle free of charge. And you get this free mug, a 1995 value for free. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you, Heatso. It was the heater, not the hot coffee. Check out heatso.com to learn more. And thank you so much, Heatso, for all your help.
Hey, uh, Holland, what are you doing? Filling. Why? Because this is my life. <laughs> I'm filling because there's a hole in the miter. So it'll dry natural, but it comes on pink. So I get to work with real wood filler though today. The other days I have not. The yesterday it was my first day working with filler and it was like dry clay. And I learned that that's not normal. We're gonna paint tonight? Oh, we're painting. I don't care if it kills me, we're painting. I spent too long this weekend not to paint. This day better end with this break in my hand. <laughs> Painted the sky last night and we are ready to put it in and then hang this propane tank. And then we only have like three more under the van projects left. You guys ready for something? This is like life changing. Or not life changing. That's not good. Like, come on. Van changing. We have countertops! Oh. How crazy is this, guys? It like feels like a real van. <sighs> Anyhow, we're just discussing the length of this. I know, right? We need a Starting Steve to look reaction. Different. It is looking different. Alright, there she is. Permanent home. So what we're working on building here is a recirculating shower. And the idea with that is that the water you use goes down after you shower with it, runs off your body, down into the catch pan, cycle it through a series of filters to clean it. We'll reheat it with a secondary heat exchanger and then cycle it back into the shower head. And so it's basically just a closed loop with a small amount of water, maybe a gallon, maybe two gallons, that just recirculates. And so you get to shower basically as long as you want with very minimal water usage, which in a van is a big deal. calling it a day. It is Saturday and I got stuff going on, um, but I'm pretty happy with progress for today. What do you then? It stinks. Don't film this part. We have to talk Wait. about this. This is a whole thing. What do you think? What? Well, I think it needs to go to the Calvary because of all the glue. You don't like it? No. You didn't do anything to it. I knew it. The other side. This side's done. I knew it. I was like, guys, I knew it. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. You did this? Yeah. It's all done. Ready to be cut This up. is very good. This is great. Yeah. I was like, no, dude, you can't. I saw it. That wasn't as good. <laughs> because I was can't very fool good. Can't fool her, Mike. I know. Looking pretty good. Thank you, yeah. Just doing some final cuts to fit it in, but otherwise, uh, looking pretty tight. No more crime. That's it, Mike. Whoa, that's one hell of a faucet for a van. Yeah. What did you purchase? A faucet. Woo! And there it goes. For pure, right? Playing under the van, <laughs> playing with my gray tank. We found a rare, rare wild find. No, I'm filming. <laughs> no, I'm filming. Mike calls it a wild Steve. <laughs> we went grocery shopping, not grocery shopping, Home Depot shopping, which is grocery shopping, and we brought back Cadoba. <laughs> and we found a Steve right here with a Fifle. Fifle! 
Pray well. Pray well. Thank you. Are you helping Steve? He's in deep in thought. I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm doing this. And it's super complicated. <laughs> Can myself or Mike help? Um, yeah. You just want to figure this out for me. What did he say? He said you want to figure it out for you? For him? Yeah, I have it figured out. Okay. Um, the first step is eating Kidova. That's always the first step. And then the second step is I'm happy to come crawl down under here with you and figure stuff out. Okay. No, I just got to figure out how to mount it and how to get it all. Oh, just like so the base project. Hmm? Just how to like mount it. Yeah. It's got to hang off the top. The oh, problem is, it'd be way easier if I could just like weld the whole frame around the tank and never have to like be able to get it in and out, but I really can't do that because it's got to get welded up, painted, oh, okay. and then assembled. There's no escape, don't look away. Something is coming now, it's on the way. It's going down, feel it right now. Lost in the rhythm of all our sound. This isn't real, strangers. Kind of embarrassed to show you guys my welds. I never said I was good at this. Keep in mind, I haven't welded in a long time. So now's the big day to cut the countertop so that you get to uh, do some homework and stain it and pop that grain. This is what happens when you can't bite your ear. You have to wear the helmet of shame. <laughs> they have to wear the hat of shame. This is Gibbs like hard hat in the field. Dude, this is already like money. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. Everything in my vision is coming true. I really was helping with this. It just doesn't look like I was, but I really was just holding it and then I now I'm trying to get better angles of what you're doing. 13 and one, two, three, four, five eighths. Really? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 wait, wait, I'm sorry, five sixteenths. <laughs> 13 and one, two. It's harder to work in sixteenths now, Mike. That's all she knows. That's all she, that's all she has? Okay, y'all. This is another staining session. But it's not just any staining session. These are my countertops. This is gonna be really fun. So it's called popping the grain. Yep, popping the grain is the rap song you never knew you needed. It's called Pop That Grain. We have bird's eye, a lot of grain and bird's eye. So we're gonna get started. The one time I'm not gonna complain about staining. <laughs> Behind me is where the AC gets installed down here. So I'm going to be building the pieces that conceal the front of the air conditioning unit and the face frame that goes around this storage area. The top of this, this bench um, is going to be made so that we still have some access to get in to service the air conditioner if something were to happen with it or if parts need to get replaced. So some of this will be um, mounted securely down and the other part of it will be sort of a temporary install um, so it can be removed as needed. <laughs> trying to remember how to program a PLC because I need to do that for this recirculating shower to work. So I have my lab, this is not ladder logic, my flow logic here for how this is supposed to work. This isn't done yet, but these are the basic states of our recirculating shower program. And uh, I'm gonna program this PLC and see if I can load it and uh, step through my logic and see what, the, what I got wrong. So I taped everyone else and what they're doing today. Um, let's see what I'm gonna do. So these guys right here need trim put on them. So I'm gonna make that out of quarter inch birch. And uh, yeah, that'll be my project get those, uh, to get those ready for paint. 
That's all. So the tiny hole is for the control panel for the um, AC. Here's the, the panel itself. Um, and there's a bunch of wires that get hooked into this bad boy. I use the router bit to kind of route this little pocket out. So this little guy fits right in here. I'm trying to get this research shower wired up and test my programming and make sure that's all functional before we put countertops on and this becomes a lot more inaccessible. And this part is not raw. So we need to get that all the way back to this. Hey, that worked. Holy moly, Mike. Mike, why did you take nine minutes and 27 seconds to make that cut. Wow. Wait, so what did you do? Oh, it's hot. Yeah. One would have expect, yeah. We cut so, one, of, one of these two. This is oh, what. these guys. Whoa. This is what that used to look like. What? And that's what it looks like now. Now it's going in rail, guys. <laughs> now it is. Holy, holy. All right, next one. Hi guys, it's raining and it's 10 o'clock. It's not fun. Got a sink here. So I've actually already done the majority of these uh, of these holes, but um, I thought I'd just take you along if you want to do that with me. If you've seen this, I'm either dead or getting B-roll for you. What's the scenario where you'd be dead? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say good morning to the camera yet, Holland? Not officially. No, you just say it how what, we're speaking in a certain way today. <laughs> Tis morning to you people. <laughs> to you fellow. What patrons. a glad morning is what upon us. What a glad us. morning is upon I, us. <laughs> do not allow me to write. I was like, where art thou, Steve? And he's like, Tis happened to arrive today. And I was like, oh, <laughs> we're speaking in prose today. <laughs> <laughs> we're only a Shakespeare band company. <laughs> The Shakespearean band company. The Shakespearean band company. That's a pretty good name. It's just the way that we do. <laughs> what is wrong? I don't know. Whoa. Oh, did that fly? Yeah, yeah. okay. Woo! It didn't even go in properly. I don't know. Trouble. I already have the munchies as a natural human <laughs> and a tired human who just wants to sleep <laughs> and laugh at everything that has me sober. So, Holland, why are you so tired? I don't want to talk about it because <laughs> I had a whole box of mac and cheese. <laughs> and? At least it was Annie's, but it had pea protein in it. So it was 24 extra grams of protein, and so now I'm so full. And I 
everyone's just cold and normal, and I was like, no, we should just take a nap. <laughs> so I'm just trying to like digest my food. You're testing out your bed. Yeah, I like extra hard mattresses, so this is perfect. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Screwing in the van. <laughs> You're screwing your wife. <laughs> she had to get everything to hold something down. She's holding the countertop down uh, while I screw it in. We're giving you some privacy. <laughs> All right, so while the girls are doing YouTube Live and Steve is working today, I am doing the sink um, slash countertop installs. So I have this side done, and right here is the upside down sink, and uh, I'll set up the tripod and you guys can follow along. <laughs> the prettiest joints I've ever made, but you know. Let's see how they hold. I finally have this finished. I ended up recutting or getting some different size pipe to lay in here because uh, the compression fittings on the stuff I got first that was flexible pipe just didn't work. Hello. What are we doing? I am just checking a couple emails, but that's not the main event. <laughs> the main event checking emails, uh, is email. something we've been waiting, don't mind my filler, for days. Not my filler on my face, they filler on my hands, guys. <laughs> and there's no filler in my face. We have a great tank. This is the most exciting thing. We've been waiting for six days? I don't know. Seven days? I'm not counting. Who's counting? It's very I think exciting. I this yesterday. No, it was not yesterday. <laughs> Poor Steve had to fabricate this entire box and it has copper lines in it that prevent the water from heating underneath the van, which makes this an all season van, which is pretty darn special. Definitely. You prevents the water from heating. <laughs> I know. I, I can just see that. No, no, I, you did. But I can see like cool. the, 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 the asterisk, the asterisk uh -huh. freezing pop up on there. screen. I meant freezing. No, it's, it's more fun this way, Helen. I, I meant it. it prevents the water from freezing. The hot water copper lines run through it. All right, enough talk. We got work to do. Let's go. Oh. It'll work. Hopefully that's the last time we have to mess with that. Not that it's done, but have a, have a at least done. it should be mounted now. We've never said goodnight to the camera. We do sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. I haven't seen that in the episode. Do you guys even know what the van looks like right now? It looks so good. You probably don't oh, see. It is a We're so close to finishing. No, it, it looks so great. There's this, only this, tools everywhere. This is nine days away, everyone. <laughs> Don't don't put a number on how many on days oh, that we have. It's like, like it's, what's a number these days? Yeah, it looks Let's so see, good. Sink back there. In nine days, we just gotta plumb it up and then it's finished. <laughs> Check out the countertop. That's I it. know. It will look really in good in about a week. We keep saying a week. It's gonna look really good. I know. We this keep saying we're really, that. We're really serious. Guys, we'll be almost done in like three days. <laughs> the heater is almost done. I think it'll be done tomorrow. Um, I put it in its final location and plumbed it up. Uh, well, plumbed it up to the heating lines at least. Sweet. So I got a few more connections to make tomorrow. Tim and... Control, Tim Control and Anonning. That's all Steve has to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like 70 degrees again tomorrow. And we're gonna be like, why oh, do we need a heater? So nice. But we also have an announcement that we're hoping to outsource some work. <laughs> Steve doesn't know about this yet. <laughs> <laughs>
My brother might be willing to come and set up his printer and design oh, that part really? and print it and do the run so for the plexiglass. It's Ooh. done and by just the time like, you get home from your dad's wedding. Ooh. Take that entire part off of our hands. That would be really nice. Oh, oh that we, is another couple hours. We flood like, Steve with good news on camera. <laughs> but but to be fair, I, I would still I mean, he can probably tell roughly what the critical design features are from like the current part, but yeah. I'd wanna sit down with him for a few minutes or like talk through it, baby. Yeah. You know mostly. I I, I, I know the critical dimensions. Yeah. While your dad's at the altar, you can just jump on a FaceTime. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to my brother and see if he's willing to come. So he might be another so, dough helping out. What turns Trying to get two all people the building this van is in... like now six people building this mm -hmm. van. Okay, that's okay. it. Good night. That's it. See you tomorrow. I can't believe I'm saying this, but next week is our last week building the van. That's right. And you get to meet the legends of a sponsor, Sprinter Store. Thank you so much, Sprinter Store, for the two very essential items that you guys will find out about next week. Hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell to get a new episode every Sunday. Y'all come back and we'll see you later.